brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this New Year's Day matchup. It's the reigning NFC champs and the Ravens coming up next. They love their crab cakes and they love their football. That's what Maryland does. And we are at M&T Bank Stadium down near the Inner Harbor of Baltimore. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game. And that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Dallas Cowboys and the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. so they'll bring it out to the 25. First look at the Let's Cowboys go. offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And I think it's safe to say that, and I heard him say it in the post-game press conference, that was a team win last week because he didn't really play up to his normal standards, throwing two interceptions. No touchdown. Yeah, didn't offset it at all, but the team found a way to get it done. Play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Here we go. Here and they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. And that was a fun one to watch right there. Nice in breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. On first and 10, Prescott. That is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now left side on the swing pass. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing, Prescott. He's got his man here, it's Gary Jennings Jr. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A gain of 37. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone. This time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. Pollard. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal, and they sent that play backwards. Dak's going to keep it, and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop it behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. 
Prescott on third and goal. This is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because really, second down... Second and goal, that's your play action time, and you're not sure whether they're going to run it or throw it. Third down, you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it. Even more impressive that they got it done and on the opening drive of the game. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The numbers for him from a week ago, 17 carries, 52 yards and a touchdown. And they've already clinched the playoff berth, so I'm eager to see how they approach this game because some teams' philosophy is to go ahead and get guys out. Other teams' philosophy, continue to do what you're doing best. I expect them to go use the top guys all the way through this one. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. And now Jackson will look to throw it. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Devin Duvernay hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find them at the wide receiver position. And that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted it to high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys, and they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Prescott to throw it. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. 
Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And again, it's Prescott. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, this defense for the Ravens, they played extremely well last week in the win over Atlanta. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. First down, Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. On second down, it's Pollard. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. The Ravens heading out on offense as we look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And you can see they've already clinched the AFC North. As it stands, of course, they would still need to host a game on Wild Card Weekend. But you know, we always talk about how coaches say, we want to win that division, and that's the key thing, right? Oh, that's absolutely right. And that comes all the way down from the front office. They build their teams to win their division first because if you do that, you guarantee that first game at home. Yeah, if you get the number one seed in a bye, that's terrific. But bottom line, get into the playoffs. There are a heck of a lot of teams watching that wish they were in your spot. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Jackson Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. As they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Now Jackson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
And he was looking for Rashad Bateman there. And that takes us from second to third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as good running gets him to about the 44. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. That escapes the sack. Oh, he's got a little daylight. The quick feet by Jackson. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Well, you don't expect too many quarterbacks to be adept at breaking away from would-be tacklers, but this is uncommonly good right here as he's able to get away. Yeah, and this is a case of improper form from a tackling perspective because when you get ready to go up against a back like this, everyone has to be able to understand you've got to be able to slow him down and let the Cowboy come to the rescue. They were nowhere to be found that time, though, and this winds up being a big play. Jackson's going to try the sneak, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful for the yard out, and the Ravens have retaken the lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back. Quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now four. to their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now on second and 13, Prescott uses the stiff arm and he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, it's Pollard. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's Jack Fox now as he's on to punt for Dallas. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Jackson now. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. Here's second and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Here's Jackson. 22 yards there, a first down. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. Throwing the football, he's not as sharp as he was last week when he was over 70%. Right now, he's under 50%. Well, that comes from extra game film, extra time. You know those guys watched him all week. Saw how precise. Now well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10, and he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. 
So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly, where you see the final score there. James Conner, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, let's head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium. And they were winners as they defeat the visiting New England Patriots. Dalvin Cook, a touchdown run in the victory. And then finally, a good one on Monday Night Football between the L.A. Rams and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And they've had all sorts of success thus far tonight throwing the football as they're on pace to throw for 300-plus yards if things continue the way they've been going. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Both teams going back through their game plans, making their final halftime adjustments. And for the call of the second half, we go back up to Baltimore and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone who has the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Out of the shotgun, Breda. And this will go for five up to the 33. The Ravens on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. They're up against a third and one situation. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breda. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. The Ravens on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. This will be third and 15. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? I'm so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. It's tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They run again with Breida. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. It's a first down following a gain of three. They'll run it out of the gun with Hill. And a solid run down inside the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Tucker's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that Charles a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it. And he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game. So they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. To throw is Prescott. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Cooper again the target, and that'll bring up second down. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be caught? No, they say it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Steps away to his left, and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. And that's exactly what they got done. Now well, a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they're going to have this in a great spot way down in Baltimore territory. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy's made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Prescott. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaken up down there on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? To the air again, Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Gary Jennings 
His first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. hang on to it makes me feel like I actually played back in my day. Well, you probably could have. If you'd run that play, you would not have fumbled, I can tell you that. Maybe. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And whistles and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Now Jackson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. On is the putter, Cook, who sends it away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Dak Prescott in the offense. Down by five, just over a minute, 40 to play. A possible crippling loss to their playoff status in the ballots, barring a late score. To throw, Prescott. Jalen Ferguson in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And down by five, they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Prescott. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. Bring this back. It's a pick six and a even touchdown. Obviously just a huge play, but Charles is a defender. Are you often taught just to knock that ball down on fourth? You're exactly right. We are taught that. Okay, just knock it down, take the ball on offense. But sometimes you have to know when to break the rules. And he did to the tune of six points. Tucker with the extra point and gives his guys a 12-point advantage. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Pollard 
defender lets to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off around the 27. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, obviously, Charles, this stage of the game, down two scores, they had to put the football in the air. Unfortunately, it gets picked off. And the criticism comes easily in situations like this, but you just laid it out. Look where they are on the scoreboard. Look at where the clock is in the game. He has to take a chance here and try and get the ball downfield to his receivers. Unfortunately, it was picked off. They'll begin the drive with Breda. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll go option to the short side. First down and more for Jackson. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. On first down, here's Brita. And a solid run down inside the 30. 57 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. ways to click and you know people who love this game they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in so for Baltimore a final win here means they'll finish off the regular season at a solid 13 and 3 